Today I'm going to be reviewing Nova Launcher on the AT&T HTC One X. Let's get started. You can access Nova settings many different ways. You can access them by touching the menu key when you're on the home screen. You can get many different settings. I'm going to go over some. When you tap the desktop option, you'll get more settings. You can customize the desktop grid up to seven rows and seven columns. Everything looks cramped up. It doesn't look that good. You can also double tap on the home screen to access Nova settings. You can also change the width and height margin. Persistent search bar will let you have the Google search bar on all the home screens or just one. Nova lets you have up to nine home screens. You can easily add and remove them. You can change the scroll effect when you change pages. There's many different ones. It also lets you infinitely scroll, which means you won't hit a dead end when scrolling on your home screens, resize all widgets, label applications, widget overlap, and lock desktop, which prevents changes to the desktop. Then there's drawer. Drawer is where you have all of your applications. You can change the drawer grid like you can on the desktop. It is also seven rows and seven columns. My favorite scroll effect for the app drawer is a revolving door, but you can choose from eight different ones. You can add drawer groups and also folders in the app drawer. One of my favorite features by far is the ability to hide apps. I use it to hide all my AT&T apps that I'm unable to remove or widget settings. The dock also has many features. You can have up to five dock pages, seven dock icons, change the width margin and dock heights, and infinite scroll, which is the same as a desktop infinite scroll. Look and Feel lets you customize how you use the phone. It lets you change the icon theme. You can download more from the Play Store. I have never really used the home screen in Landscape, but you can have the option to do that. Looks really good and helps when you're using apps in Landscape. You can also change the scroll and animation speed and even the app animation when opening an app or returning to the home screen. Folder preview and folder background let you change the look of the folder. Gestures is a cool feature which I never use except for opening Nova. You can customize any gesture you want for opening apps, shortcuts, or Nova actions. If you remove the dock, it is also nice to remove the notification bar so the screen looks clean. You can always go back to your old launcher by tapping on Select Default Home. The first winner from the $15 iTunes gift card is up, and you can go and check in the iTunes giveaway video.